Hello again. In the last video, we talked about uh, nuclear fission and uh, electricity generation via nuclear fission. Um, in this video, I'm going to talk about chain reactions and how how uh, this nuclear reaction in a in a nuclear power station is uh, is uh, sustained. So uh, we had a neutron. Uh, that's our neutron being fired into a uranium nucleus, much larger of course, and that neutron having having this, uh, this energy of about 0 0.03 eV in order for the uranium nucleus to take it on and, and for that uranium nucleus to split. And when it does, we tend to have two daughter nuclei we have gamma ray photons and we have three new I think green will look okay, yes, it's quite bright, that's good. Three or two new neutrons come off. And th those neutrons uh have a very high energy now that's no good remember that I th this needs to be uh, quite slow uh, relative 0 0.03 EV uh, corresponds to about 20,000 meters per second and these neutrons that are coming off from this reaction typically have uh, approximately uh, uh, so I'll just make that clear here um, 1 to 2 MeV. Now that's over a million times this value, this value that we need here. So we have to we have to do something, we have to slow those down. And in order to slow those down we have a moderator. Now the moderator is, this is simply put, um, generally used in nuclear power stations uh, a moderator is made up of heavy water uh, now heavy water is is just water with uh, lots of deuterium in it um, heavy water um, so we'll have lots of deuterium in that heavy water those neutrons come through and they strike these these molecules and when they do they can pass on some of their energy to these molecules and and continue on having slowed down so from 1 to 2 million electron volts down to this uh, this uh, low EV and our I'm, I'm using this number it's approximately 0 0.03 EV that they need they need to slow down by once they've passed through the moderator uh, and of course the chain reaction uh, has them striking three other uranium nuclei. Oh, that last one doesn't look the same size, they are the same size um, and of course as a result we have fission and we have two or three an average of 2.4 neutrons coming off. I'll just draw two for the, each of these much quicker. Uh, so from this reaction uh, we have uh, 200 our energy coming off of that of about 200 MeV million times the energy of burning hydrocarbons from these three reactions, uh, of course, 600 MeV or thereabouts, uh, and from the from the next set of reactions, we would have uh, nine times that, or uh, eight or seven times that, um, and and this is what a chain reaction is. So, the neutrons produced by this reaction continue on 
to, to generate more reactions and then those neutrons go on to generate more reactions and it's, uh, it's exponential happens very quickly uh, this reaction of course happens in about 10 to the minus 12 seconds very very quickly so uh, and uh, th there's ways to, to stop this from happening of course we don't want this to be uncontrolled we want this to uh, you can imagine in a very short amount of time we have we have huge energy coming off uh, imagine these reactions occurring with the with 3000 uranium nuclei then of course we have huge huge energies uh, coming off and, and, and too much perhaps uh, for our nuclear power stations for our nuclear reactors uh, to be able to um, uh, sustain and uh, and this is where meltdown can occur so we have something to to stop this reaction from going uncontrollably and a sustained nuclear reaction is where we 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 take the original reaction a neutron fired into a uranium nucleus and and we make it so that only uh, one neutron or less neutrons come off and so and and goes on to continue the reaction uh, uh, but uh, but do it in a sustained way we call this a sustained nuclear reaction uh, a certain amount of heat per unit time is generated and only that much so that the cooling systems in a in a nuclear reactor can can keep it cool enough uh, but also warm enough to generate electricity um, is that all I want to say here um, yes oh the one more thing in the next video I'll, uh, this heavy water here uh, here is is actually called a moderator and I'll, I'll refer to that in the videos to come uh, when I talk about uh, nuclear reactors and chain reactions going on inside nuclear reactors. Thank you for watching.